a beautiful beach, a castle of character, and 10 talented public servants to put them on the map. The 2016 Local Government Challenge is underway. Go LG Challenge! Dorset's Highcliff Castle. A hundred years ago, it was home of retail magnate Mr. Selfridge. Today, though, it's the venue for the first phase of the 2016 Local Government Challenge with hosts Christchurch and East Dorset councils. And it's a familiar face that's behind this first task. Last year's challenge finalist and community and open spaces manager here Matt Reeks. And the coast that you see, it's a really vibrant coastline. Um, it's, it's classy. We don't have kiss me quick hats. The coastline here is the jewel in the council's crown. But in the current straitened times for all local authorities, Matt and his team don't feel they're making enough of it for local people and making enough from it for visitors. The candidates will divide into two teams and come up with ideas to bring in the cash and the visitors to the beach below the castle without upsetting its obvious natural assets. Make us a picture of what Highcliffe Beach in Tewton Bunny is going to look like. We've got some fantastic natural assets here in Christchurch um, and Highcliffe Beach is, is one of them. It's underutilised so there's a real opportunity for, for them to learn and for us to gain. First tasks, selecting team names and captains. Quick decisions mean Eunice Myatt, Enterprise Architecture and Information Manager with Bradford City Council, will captain the newly named Transform at one end of the castle. While at the other, Dave McCollum, Senior Commissioning Officer for Crime and Disorder in Lambeth, will lead Pioneer. Oh yeah, Pioneer. Pioneer. And the rest of the day is a dizzying mixture of high-tempo fact-finding, while all the candidates attempt to begin to get to know each other. Nervous, but really excited about the challenge that we have. Um, and it's just great to be amongst other people who are also really enthusiastic and excited about the adventure ahead. The reality is kind of dawning about the challenge and what we're actually being asked to do. So I would say that, um, yeah, it's good. It's becoming tough but um, challenging. I think it's something that's going to be very much fun and interesting. I wasn't nervous until the point where we were sat down and, and teams were announced and, and that was when the nerves kicked in and I thought, right, this is it now, it's actually, it's real. Time's up, change round. The day's ending in a blaze of colour and a flurry of activity. It's been a really exciting day, lots to take in, lots of information to absorb and hopefully just put it all together now. Uh, we haven't got to the critical decision making point yet so we'll see how we all get along when we, when we get there. But we're working really well together at the moment. A late night is in prospect. I think around about midnight I think. Probably going to be at four in the morning but we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Day two, after the midnight oil has been well and truly burned. Um, we took it about half one, I think. It was, yeah, it was good. I mean, we, we, we ebbed a little bit before we went to bed. Park and ride is the, the answer, yeah. Yeah. But plans are clearly taking shape, and they need to. Presentations are close now, giving the observers who've been following the team since they met the chance to reflect. Uh, Team Transform have been busy with lots of ideas. I think there's quite a lot of strong characters in there, so they're all, they're all coming up with ideas actually. Um, whether they've refined it into something that they can present and is plausible, I'm not sure. 
I've been really impressed by Team Pioneer. They all seem to be uh, contributing and they all seem to be taking part. There doesn't seem to be any weak links in the team at the moment. Equally, there's nobody that's uh, jumping out and, and, and standing out. The judges have now arrived and are preparing to meet the teams. They're chaired by Claire Holloway, head of corporate governance at the LGA and challenge sponsor. She's joined by councillor Ray Nottage, leader of Christchurch Council, council's chief executive David McIntosh, and a special edition, Will Dawes, managing director of TV company Plum Pictures, which is planning a Channel 4 documentary about the development of Highcliffe Beach. So, when we arrived here, we asked the question, do you want to take your family to Highcliffe Beach? Pioneer, Actually, go first. We got quite a lot of negative feedback, so we wanted to change that. So I'm going to take you on a journey that we've created. Our plan is driven through the development of a cultural hub, through the creation of a linear Jurassic walkway, and through development of a Jurassic jetty. This is what's going to drive visitors and growth into the area. We don't want to say this is our plan, we want to produce it in partnership with the local community, the stakeholders, the businesses, the councillors, and to make them see that this change is not only necessary to rejuvenate and revive the area, it's something they can get involved in, feel passionate about, and really bring Highcliffe on to 2050. Thank you. Put it this way, on the kind of the boxes that you didn't Questions stick on the map, follow. What, what ideas did you have that you dropped? Floating beach huts beach huts on stilts. We even had a crazy idea of a zip line that gets you there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we thought of a lot of crazy things, but at the same time, because of the climate that we're in, we wanted to be innovative, but realistic at the, same, at the same time. So today we invite you to live the Highcliffe way. And then and it's Team like Transform's the turn. So moving people along, when we come down this pink line, and where Pioneer looked to the coast's ancient past, Transform want a high-tech future. Driverless shuttles to run along the coast through a free Wi-Fi zone. The shuttle stops here, and then we'd be looking at some kind of bus or some kind of coach area, bring in the connectivity of the whole town so that everybody benefits. Give me some advice about what I should do if I take your pro programme unaffected and take it to the community. I would look at consulting with the community, the big plan, get them all involved in looking at that big plan and, and inputting to it, um, and then break that down into the separate projects when they're going to be delivered. Time for the judges to retire and discuss their findings. We think that the winning team is... Before presenting their verdict. <laughs> Transform. I think this has been a great challenge, it's been really imaginative, very, very practical, great for a first challenge for the contestants. Really brilliant ideas that have come out of today. I think particularly the need to have a sort of central point, a destination where people can come to. Wonderful to see some passion coming through on the, on the, idea, on the presentations. Great ideas generated by a lot of enthusiastic people which we can genuinely make some use of. Right throughout the challenge I kept kind of having to stop myself getting involved. I was like, oh, I want to do this. But no, it's really good. Team effort, and I thank everyone doing it. And I think Christchurch has been a fantastic place to come. Yeah, really the passion behind it, I think, is there as well. And I hope they take the high, high cliff way forward. <laughs> <laughs>